you, where you been? Hey, so welcome back to my channel. It's me, Fall Shanti, and today I'll be doing my hair. So as you can see, my hair is wash conditioned, deep conditioned, and blow dried. So I needed to stretch my hair for my hairstyle. So I'll be doing some passion twists. I'm pretty excited about them. Um, this is gonna be new for me. So I'm gonna be doing the rubber band crochet method. Uh, rubber band and crochet method. So I do have my crocheting tool. I have some little black rubber bands. And today I'll be using the, what's the name of this hair? Bobby Boss uh, Brazilian Water Curl. And this is uh, 18 inches in the color 1B and 30. So I'll be using this. I took one out so you can see how it looks kind of. It's like different. The colors kind of get like lighter. I don't really know how I'm going to feel about the colors itself. But this is the color of the hair. You can't, you can't even tell to be honest. Um, But... So, my hair feels really nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to section my hair. And let's oh my God. I'm going to section my hair and with little black rubber bands and little parts. And then I'll be back. You can see I'm like halfway done. I like lost some of the footage. So, I actually did not do passion twists like as you can see. If you can look at these and tell that my hair, like it looks okay. But my hair started to unravel and come out of the twist, which I did not want. So, I actually did it a different way. I braided my hair until the ends of my hair and then I twisted it. That allowed it to last so much longer. And maybe I think it lasted like two months or so. So, you can see here, I used uh, some jam to put the right band in the hair and my hair at the root. So, it will stay. Um, I use some Eco Styler. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I use some Shea Moisture to put on my hair, keep it soft. And then this is, I use one piece of one section of hair per braid, um, per braid, per twist, braid twist, whatever. And then um, I, you know, made it so it was like it'll be longer. I want it longer. I crocheted it in. And what I did was I braided it down to the end. You'll see that I use. Um, I like a knot method or whatever. So I bought six packs. I used about five and a half packs. There was like 18 twists in each pack. So I pretty much used almost all six. Um, and I thought, though the color was really cute. I didn't think, it wasn't supposed to be like this initially. It was more of an ombre, but this had like the 30 up top, which I didn't expect, but I actually didn't mind it. Thought they came out really nice. And they last so long. I don't know if I'll do this method again. I think I'll just go ahead and just braid it from the root next time without crocheting it. Um, because I actually like this a lot better than just the twist itself because my hair was giving me problems in the beginning. So that original way of doing passion twist was not it for me because my hair was not staying, it was not being tamed. So me braiding it to the end of my hair worked out a lot better for me and for the style. So once I got to the ends where my hair was, I braided it a little past that. I put jam on my hair so it didn't like, you know, come out or unravel. And then I took the hair and actually like made like little piece of hair and like knotted it around so that that stayed of the um actual hair and then I twisted it I had no issues with it coming out no issues with it staying where it was this lasted me roughly two months it was really cute and I would do this style again just the way I do it. I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything to be honest because it was like literally perfect I mean yeah passion twists are nice but I think that it would be more it wasn't efficient enough for me as far as like being a protective style because my hair was coming out of the twist or my hair was giving yeah my hair was coming out of the twist so that wasn't ideal for me so this just worked out way better for me um this lasted a lot long i thought it was really cute the colors were nice i think any anyway, i think you should try it um i think in the future i would skip the rubber band and crochet and just go ahead and section and braid it i might even do bigger ones and not as small but i really did like this so you can tell this look at the root you can tell the braid there um, there was no issues to see the color here and how it looked. These were really cute and they were pretty long too. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this actually. So I know this video is like late. I did these like kind of months ago, but I wanted to get it out. I lost some of the footage, but it's okay. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember that self-love is the best love. And I will see you guys in my next video.